All right, welcome back, my movie muffs. This is approved for all audiences. Today we have a very special guest, and we're going to be talking about The Devil Wears Prada. Before we get into that, I want to thank you all for your liking, your sharing, your subscribing. And don't forget, we have audio-only versions wherever you get podcasts. If you want to send us an email at approvedforaudiencespod at gmail.com, that'd be great. Don't forget to check out our Instagram at approvedforallaudiences. And on Twitter, it is approved for all. Do we have any shout-outs this week? We'll continue the trend. Shout-out Michael, because I can't think of anything. Anybody else? Hmm. I don't think so. Mr. Cheese is on vacation this week, so we have a super special guest. <laughs> oh, my producer is telling me to read these guest credits here. <clears throat> this is a 1998 winner of Figure It Out with Summer Sanders, a five-time Academy Golden Corral winner, and a three-time appearance on How to Catch a Predator. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, my mother, not yours, Miss Lorianne Olsen. Hello. Welcome to the show, Mom. Thanks for having me. Yes. So why Devil Wears Prada? Well, why not? That's a good answer. <laughs> what about what, what? What? Why does this movie move you? Well, being in the hair industry, yes, and fashion and color and crafting that I do. Uh, oh, let me pump the brakes there. Is there anything you want to plug, Mom? Um, I sell crafts. You do sell crafts <laughs> and cards. And where can we find these crafts and cards? At Coaches Cuts in Ridgefield. Because I'm a barber there. Are these your cards on the screen here? Yes. Yeah? Which They're... one's your favorite? Have we seen it yet? Um, well, that's, that's a fun one. How much do you sell these cards and crafts for? Roughly. Five dollars and up. Five and up? Yeah. What's your most expensive card and craft? Mm, that one's my favorite. Is um, it 65? <laughs> no. 80? That would be nice. 120? Oh, wouldn't that be great? Do you take Bitcoin? Um, no. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, strictly cash. Strictly cash. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dirty change. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> Very good. You wanna you wanna go ahead and plug uh, where your shop is at? Uh, sure. It's um all the way down toward the water in Ridgefield, Washington. Yeah. Uh, on that Pioneer Street that keeps on going. That Pioneer Street that keeps on going, just like the Pioneers, folks. Yeah. It keeps on fucking going. Yeah. Oh. I told you not to curse within 10 minutes, and I did it within three. Look at us go. Gold star. Gold stars. <laughs> hot bars. We love the Jews. Um, what do you charge for a men's cut? Uh, 25. Rupees? Dollars? What are we talking? $25. Yeah. Do we do beard trims? Yeah. Yeah? Pube trims? No. Okay. No. No? Face up. Okay. <laughs> no chest? No. All right. No, no. <laughs> you don't braid armpit hair or nothing? No. Never once? Uh, I've waxed ear hair out before. You ever braided ear hair? Uh, which hair are we talking about? Ear. Did I slur? Uh, Drink. Oh. No. Um, no, I can't say that I have. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a pretty big flub on my part. We got mom's plugs out of the way, guys. Uh, go ahead and tell us uh, why, why you wanted to watch uh, the, old, uh, the old devil there. You know, it's my stand standalone movie. I continue to watch it even to this day. I remember being a boy and, uh, well, a young boy, a, an older boy, <laughs> a teen, some might say. And you watch this maybe, maybe 200 times in a year? Yeah, I'd say that's about right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was I kind of like it. It was a lot of, it was a lot of times. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I love it. It's a good movie, though. You know, Meryl Streep. Meryl Strop. Strop. Miles. Miles always Strop. How do you pronounce her last name? I believe it's Streep. Streep. Yeah, like, like Street. Like you're saying Streep, but stupid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Meryl Strap. <laughs> Strap. <laughs> you say Strip like, like a turd. I love Strop. <laughs> you know, we all know who she is. Yeah. She's great. She's that one gal that does that stuff in the thing. She can do everything. She can do most things. So I hear. As well as play a devil. Well, yeah, I suppose she does play the crotchety old broad. I wouldn't want to work for her. <laughs> no. 
No. I, I don't want to jump too far ahead, but well, I would never at, in the end of the movie, for that. it's a... Uh, she she kind of... Yes. She, 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 she has redeeming qualities. I would say yes. Yeah. Yeah. But before we get into the movie, folks, uh, we have a couple of recommendations we're going to talk about. I was going to do the news, but uh, Chase is on vacation, and I was feeling fucking lazy, too. So I've been watching some bullshit this weekend. And I figured, hey, my delicious little movie muffs, maybe you would want to watch the bullshit that I fucking watched. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk about that kind of stuff right now. So if you're a motorcycle guy like I am, you might already know about On a Sunday. But if you haven't seen it, it's great. Oh, um, I've no, you've seen it. I have seen it. It right. is not, a good not, show. Oh, no, you fucking movie. Hate it, probably. No, I like it. <laughs> a movie. Movie show. <laughs> I always get in trouble for saying the wrong thing. Uh, <laughs> It's uh, if you're a, a surfer, uh, Bruce Brown uh, uh, directed this movie. He did Endless Summer. He also did this movie. He, he when he did this, he wasn't a motorcycle guy, but he, he thought motorcycling was it was interesting. Um, like racing wasn't really popular in the states at the time, uh, and and he found it and was like, damn, we should make a documentary about that. It covers all motorcycle racing. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. It's a it's a real neat look into the past. I grew up on this movie. I love this movie. If you like period piece dumb shit movies about stuff, you'll probably like it too. Girls like it too. Well, my wife doesn't. She doesn't. <laughs> no, nobody. You gotta like want to like it. Or not want to like it, but it's beautiful scenery. And... Yeah, the music's phenomenal. Yeah. It has its own like uh, soundtrack that was made for the movie. Very fun. And if you do ride a bike, you can t definitely enjoy it. Definitely, yeah. yes. And the other one, I know you've seen this one because I think you talked about Dad watching it when I was a young boy. Hmm. I said young boy twice in this. <laughs> You're an old boy now. Yeah, I'm an old boy with a bad back and a hot clam. Uh, pumping iron. Uh, I've Pumping heard of this iron. movie, and uh, I thought it was going to be the stupidest shit ever. Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah, this is your intro to Arnie. This is how the world met Arnold Schwarzenegger. I would say And, that. man, it's free on YouTube right now, and it is so interesting. Also 1971, which, uh, well, I guess that's the next movie I'm going to tell you about. But, great. And the behind-the-scenes features are uh, free on YouTube as well. Oh, you get to see, uh, fuck, why can't I think of his name now? The Incredible Hulk, he's deaf. Oh, I forgot his name. Louis, but... uh, come on. I don't know his last name. Lou Ferrigno. Woo-wee! You are uh, good. Yeah, but it is a little not super true. Oh. Uh, it's a documentary for sure, but it's not exactly, like, they have Lou Ferrigno's dad there, and he's, like, his trainer and his, his hype man. And uh, in the behind the scenes stuff, Lou's like, yeah, my dad never did any of that ever. <laughs> <laughs> like, they did it for the movie. And I was like, well, uh, huh. Trying to sell a movie. You yeah, gotta do and what they you did. gotta do. Yeah. It's super interesting, though. And I'm not a fan of bodybuilding at all. Mm -hmm. I think it's very weird. And the amount of people that came out to these shows. It was a big thing then. In droves. Well,. A lot of people watch the bodybuilders and uh, weightlifters. Mm -hmm. It was a big thing during the seventies to to watch the the big the big guys, the big right. huge muscle bound freaks, as we call them. Oh, they were big. <laughs> they still are big. <laughs> the the governator. Big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking weird, guys. If you go, it was a thing. Let in me, the 70s. mom. If I'm like, what are you doing this weekend? And I you're like, I don't know, nothing. I'm weight. And I'm like, do you want to go to the fucking bodybuilder show? Yes, let's go. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to do that. Well, I wouldn't mind going. For like three hours? Well, maybe not three hours. No. Nobody, maybe not three ugh, hours. Nobody wants to do that. Maybe for like it ten minutes. It would be minutes. nice looking. I don't know, dude. I wouldn't want to see those... Those silly girls, but the men, yeah. yeah. You heard it here fo first, folks. <laughs> Me neither, but. <laughs> okay, let's get on to my third dumb recommendation that no one's probably going to watch. Cycle South is another fun uh, movie from 1971. It's about a voyage of three, I'm going to say young boys again. Jesus, let's drink to that, folks. <laughs> We're drinking. Uh -oh. uh, three young gentlemen out of high school 
uh, grab three hundred dollars each, and they go from Colorado to Panama City, and they uh, shenanigans, shenanigans ensue, Ooh. and it's it's great. Uh, again, it's it. kind of like Pumping Iron. It's a documentary, but you can tell it's like pretty scripted. But it's 1971, and like some scenes are like actually terrifying. Like they go on a, uh, I want to say trellis for some reason, but it's like it. a, uh, it's fun. I'm gonna have to. Have it's to. fun. It's pretty good. I like it. But they they are on a uh, a railroad bridge, like uh, like that oh. scene on Stand by Me. Okay, yeah. You know where like they jump out of the way really quick. Yeah. Where they're riding across it, and at like the very end, where they're like not super on land yet, like they fall, oh my. <laughs> and like. That's pretty. Mm, yeah, yeah, you're like, oh shit! <laughs> oh, Dangerous God. drama. It's drama. super interesting, and the way that they treat women isn't uh, super cool, it's but it's pretty funny. It's the '70s. It man. didn't age well, but it's hilarious. Sorry, mom. <laughs> <sighs> I have to watch it now. You should watch it. It's a good time. Okay, I'll watch it. So, Psycho South is kind of like. It's kind of. It's. It's not Sunday school, like uh, like on any Sunday is. Oh. This is this is sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Oh. Uh, yeah, maybe it, I wouldn't like it. Meh, I mean, it's it's gritty and it's I like it's, on any Sunday. It's fun. It's a good time. Uh, I sh I would suggest watching. It. It's like fucking Easy Rider meets on any Sunday meets. The, the Hell's Angels in, in Los Angeles. If you've seen that, that's kind of a deep I cut. witnessed the Hell's Angels. Recently? No. When they were for reals in the 70s. How so? Did you date any of them? No, I was a little girl. <laughs> were you a young boy? <laughs> I was not a young boy. <laughs> Never? No. Mom, what are your pronouns? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. My mom doesn't know what she is. Hang loose, baby. <laughs> I hang loose, too. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> All right, let's get into this fucking devil movie. Yes, let's. Uh, so, we like to look at the movie poster. I mean, what does this remind you of? Was 2006 not one of the, one of the greats? Uh, a movie. A year in 2006. Were, there were tons of great movies. Oh, you know in what? So I gave I gave my mom the option. Well, we gave each other the option, kind of. I, I came to her and was like, uh, "I want to do the pod with you. What do you think? What do you want to do?" And she's like, "I don't know." I'm like, "I fucking know. We're gonna do mm -hmm. Casino Royale, or we're gonna do The Devil Wears Prada." And she's like, "Perfect." I'm like I know because we watched both of those a thousand fucking times. Yeah. Did you know the release date of 007? Hmm. No. You should, because you were born on it. 64? No. November 17th, 2006. Oh. You know the release date of Devil Wars Prada? Wow, I'm getting slurry. I don't know. June 19th, 2006. Oh. So these are both kind of, uh, well, we're not going to talk about 007, but. It was. The both the options were uh, Chin Chin Cheerio for us. Oh, yeah. I'll drink to that, too. For sure. Yep, for sure. So yeah, let's look at that poster again. Not my favorite poster. Mm. It speaks for itself. It does. The clackers. You know what it is. If 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 the 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 script wasn't there, you would still know exactly what it is. You would know. You, you know the heel, but eh. a red heel. Yeah. With the yeah. devil fork. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some call it a pitchfork. Or a pitchfork. <laughs> Did you go to church today? No. You do that anymore? No. <laughs> Did did Jesus leave the couch? Oh no. He's still around? Oh yeah. He's in your heart still? Oh of course. Oh very good. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna make a mana joke, but there's no use. You can make a mana joke. Mom, no phones. Jesus. Oh no. Oh sorry. Oh, no. Pardon. <laughs> That's, oh off. man, we're really we're really doing good work over here. Pardon. So, like we usually do, we're gonna get into uh, the cast here. And uh, did you watch the last episode, which was forgetting Sarah Marshall? No. Oh, Jesus, you think you have fans? You don't. <laughs> you just don't. Have you seen Forgetting Sarah Marshall? No. Oh man, a lot of premium 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 dick in that movie. Oh. A lot of dick shots. Oh, okay. It's a good movie though. If you haven't seen it, it's pretty good. 
I have to jot that down. Well, you got your book there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not now. Oh, God. Dang it. <laughs> so you got Miss Anne Hathaway. Yes. And what a vision. Jeez, what I was getting yeah. at, though, is uh, nobody ages that crazy because they're rich. Like, this movie is also 14 years old. They look good yep. still. I mean... Well, I will say, old, uh, what'd you call her? Old Meryl Strep for the throat? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> old Meryl Sickly? Uh, she's not sickly. She's great. But she, I mean, she looks she looks appropriate. She looks age appropriate. Yeah, I would say. Because she's an Adonis in this movie. Oh, she is looking hot in this movie. Hot and heavy. Yeah. yeah. And didn't you, you were mentioning she was in another movie that came out. Oh, don't look up, but you hadn't seen it, right? Yeah, don't look up. I haven't seen it. If you you should watch it if you haven't seen it. It's okay. All it's I, not my all favorite. I've seen was her it's worth watching. hair curls. Uh I will say, uh she she's the president in that film and she kind of plays Trump. I wish she would play Miranda Priestly, because mm -hmm. I think that'd be far more interesting. That would be. Like even her oh, I don't want to get too far into it, but her cadence in this movie, how she's just like quaff, like oh, of course you should know, but you don't. So, hmm. <laughs> tip, tip, hmm. <laughs> that's, that's all Meryl Streep. And then we got... Streep. Uh, Mr. Uh, Tootsie here. Same glasses, oh, same yeah. dick, different belt. You know what, though? Yeah. Really, I think he did really great in this movie. He, oh, I don't think oh. he got as many kudos as you should have. Gird your loins is what everyone takes from this uh, movie. Well... Sure. Which I didn't fucking pull! God uh, damn it! <laughs> well, we all that? know it. Hopefully everybody... Uh, hopefully your hopefully lines. Everybody. <laughs> oh, that's the thing about this, too. Uh, I pulled less clips this time because I think a catchphrase of this show is you yeah. fucking seen it, why are we talking about it for 45 minutes? Yeah. Let's get to the goddamn trivia. Yeah. Uh, so okay. I only pulled X amount of clips this time, but we're still going to go through... Well, Miss Emily Blunt. Oh, do you have more to say about well, Mr. Mr. Tucci there? He did another movie fairly recently. Yeah. I don't remember the name, but um, it was about him and a, and his guy couple. So they're a couple of gays? Mm-hmm. But he was dying of cancer and the things that Gay they did. Gay cancer? Um, or just I regular? I think just regular cancer. Oh, okay. Not for but gays? But I'll have to say, it was yeah. very, from the trailer that I saw, it was very touching. Yeah. And I didn't even know he had a movie out fairly recently yeah yeah i thought that was a i don't i don't know i i wish i would have seen it i think it would have been a very good show actually show movie movie show yeah do you still do your little weekend exposés with uh expose is the wrong word little uh, movie mm -hmm. voyages with your good friend gene yeah 30 years her and i every friday yeah. we go out to the movies but no we haven't since covid but, yeah um maybe we could start Doing that again. Yeah? Yeah. What do you guys typically go, typically go see? Action. Really? The last one we saw was horrible. It was do the tell. horrible, horrible eight. And it Hateful was eight, I believe. It Hateful is. eight. Yes. And it was... Tarantinas there. Was it horrible? We stayed through the whole movie. Yeah? <laughs> we probably shouldn't have. Was there others that didn't? There were a few that did not. Quite a, Actually, couples pretty much got up and left. A couple couples? Uh, a few. A few. A few couples? B except the couple behind me. Couple of couple of couples? Couple of <laughs> couples. Of those couples. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quadruple couples? The couple behind us? Yeah. Oh, God. It was so bloody. It was a bloody mess. And, uh. Yeah, that's kind of Tarantino's M.O. Oh, his it was blood, bad. Blood, blood, gore, and the N-word. Oh, son. Kind of his it, deal. Was, it was bad. Oh, son. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. And uh, the couple behind us, yeah. the man, he couldn't hold himself anymore. Did he vomit in his butt? No, he started blasting out his laughter of, what? Oh, I think I'd say something else. As the girl is going, why are we still here? Were they cute? Yeah, they were a cute couple, yeah. but they might not be a couple now. Did, I don't you get, know. did you get their numbers? Can we find out? Can, you should you, you should call in if you were, if you were sitting in front of my mom. Oh, let God. us know. Actually, they were behind us. They were, the oh, ones in front of us all took off. They all took off. It was too much. Gore, it was a great huh? cast, though. So do you know this old gal here, Miss Emily Blunt? Emily Blunt. Yeah, you know who she's married to? Who? Uh, John Krasinski. You know who that is? No, I don't know. Have you seen is. The Office? Yes. Mr. Jim, dog. Oh, my God. Yeah. Of course, I know who her husband mm -hmm. is. 
The Office. She freaking slayed this movie. Slay girl, slay, slay queen. All the way. She did. It was great. Mm -hmm. I love her role. Mm -hmm. I love how catty she is. But then you get... Fuck, I'm doing it again. What? Uh, I'm just jumping to the end. I don't want to do that. I try not to do that. Well, we all know she... She She's an great. actress that act. I, can you say actress anymore? Are they just all actors? The I would say actor. I think they're all actors. Should be correct. I guess. <laughs> yeah, she's an actress. Act. Oh fuck. She's an actor. <laughs> she's an actor. Mm -hmm. and we got this little gem here. Oh yeah, he's so cute. Did you ever watch Entourage? Nate. No. I did a little bit, just enough to know uh, that old Adrian here. Nate and this here film, uh, he he played Aquaman in the Entourage series, oh, and I think he looks he like a Greek, a Greek. Uh, very Greek. Like, yeah, uh, like, he's a Greek guy. He looks like a Greek, uh, like half brother of Jason Momoa, oh. who did play in real life Aquaman. Oh right, yeah, For he's sure. kind of like a Twinkie Jason Momoa. Twinkies, no Twinkie. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love a cream filled guy. Yes, he's pleasing to the eye. <laughs> Good rhyme. Very mm. good. You're keeping up. <laughs> yeah, I like him. So do you Do you want to get to the opening scene here? Uh, yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. So Chester Cheese isn't here, and I totally forgot to do the synopsis and the Metacritic's review. Mom, do you have the synopsis on your phone? Can I give that a peek really quick? Sure. Here. I'll let you read it. So the synopsis to this is The Devil Wears Prada is a 2006 American comedy drama. Comedy, huh? It's comedy. I didn't think it was that fucking funny. Hey, there's funny parts in it. Yeah, I suppose there are. Comedy drama uh, directed by uh, David Frankel. <laughs> uh, wait, where did it go? And there's some women producers in there, too. Oh, Jesus. I'm not going to free ball this. So basically, it's a movie about a girl that wants to do a job because she can't get a job doing what she wants to do. And uh, she gets a good review from her bosses and shit if she does this job. So she tries it out uh, and some bullshit happens. And you've seen the fucking movie. So, yeah, you already fucking know. But the Medi uh, Metacritic, because, like, fuck that, but I guess we always talk about that. 60%. Rotten Tomatoes got a 75%, which I feel like is a little bit low. Uh, well, maybe it's spot on. 80 feels high, 70 feels low, 75 is perfect. I take that all back. I'd say. Uh, IMDb is 6.9 out of 10. That feels low to me. This is a pretty fucking good movie. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good one. When you men sit down and watch it. When we men, yes. Actually, you kind of. They get call into me Tim, it. he, him, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. I call you son. <laughs> you do. I don't like that. <laughs> oh. But I'll allow it. Tim. He, him. He, him. <laughs> I actually sing a song to Grace. Aww. Him, he, him. Oh, that's adorable. And whenever she says, like, to me, I like this movie. And I'm like, yeah, I am to me. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> All right, where the fuck are we in this thing? Um, let's see here. We already did. Oh, do you know about this? Have you heard about this? So, um... Adrian's character, what's his name? Eric? I forget now. Uh, Anna Hathaway's uh, Nate. boyfriend. Nate. Nate. Uh, so Nate, as an actor, Adrian, oh, I wrote his name down, Adrian something Italian, <laughs> the guy from Entourage, he came out in uh, July of last year saying that uh, his character is the real villain of the movie, which I think is complete bullshit <laughs> well, like, what are you talking when about when you talk about bad parts of a movie i yeah. will agree with you i think it's you're agreeing with me on that because I, I think that's so fucking dumb well she goes off to to try to do a job and when she finally starts getting into the job yeah. and, and doing grading the job he tells her she is a fool for being like one of the clackers yeah and uh clackers, huh? clackers. not to be confused with a cracker not right? a, well she's she is a cracker <laughs> But a clacker we're talking about. The heels the stilettos make in the marble floor. Yeah. <clears throat> but I just thought that was pretty asinine that, like, he was a guy in the movie. Like, he didn't write the fucking thing. No. He was an actor in the movie. Like, why are you apologizing for the role you played? Because he was an a-hole at the in toward when she was doing something good at her job. 
and that one scene yeah where well, all of her buddies supposedly are there for his birthday oh well, this is before the birthday this is when she gets off the job and she comes to meet them all at their favorite um well the place they meet for his is, fucking birthday no mm -mm. this was they're all they all meet after work there and they have talk about work oh and, and she's giving them shoes and, and she and... she got uh michael corbett right she gave it to lily mm -hmm. she got who um, are the names i'm bad with the names well lily yeah the artist that has the gallery yeah oh yes 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 well uh and uh clinique and uh Prada perfume that yep. Doug took, of course. Ah, that fucking motherfucker. Because, you know, he's a one, really. <laughs> well, <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Well, he said the gays it to are him. women. He said it himself. <laughs> Did he? Well, actually, I think Lily said it. Eh, cover your loins here. <laughs> Gird your loins, Mom. Uh, no, oh, that's, that's Nigel. I know. Doug. <laughs> anyway. He was the computer analyst. Yeah. But anyway, that scene where they're all sitting there talking and mm -hmm. she gives out the pangolin, pangolin phone or whatever that phone. Uh, Ben word. Olstein. The, the banana phone. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, she gives them all great, wonderful gifts. I remember that, but And then they names. tease her when her boss calls and yeah. she's wanting the phone and they toss it around. Which is annoying because they're, they're getting gifts that from, so... from her predicament. And uh, her friends predicament? don't have her back. Predicament. Yeah. But I mean, the, the whole thing about him being the villain is fucking bullshit so this movie is like uh it's the reverse of a man being the breadwinner so like let, uh, let's say the roles are reversed so fucking uh the dude is working hard and working hard and working hard and uh the girl doesn't go or the guy doesn't go to the girl's birthday oh yeah you're gonna be fucking probably pretty pissed yeah but when the guy fucking cries about it now he's the villain of the movie no she definitely knew she did a bad thing. Yeah. She should have chosen him over she also her plays job. The victim the entire time. Mm -hmm. This movie is about choices, guys. It is and about she, choices. And she she makes I mean, depending how you look at it. She chose her job over French. She did. And over her And Emily, which we get into her husband. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Emily. And and his response to this also was like, Oh, yeah, I cried about it like a little baby. But even in the movie, there's a scene where he's like, I'm not a child. I'm not mad that you didn't come to my birthday. I'm mad that you're not making time for me. So it's like he did this fucking stupid ploy for a tabloid that came out last July. Like, this movie's 14 years old. Like, what are you doing? Like, why are you doing that? You're doing this wokey fucking bullshit. I don't like it. It made me very annoyed. Because mm -hmm. uh, Grace brought it up to me, and she's like, oh, man, he's in a lot of heat. For this role. And I was like, well, he kind of brought it on himself. Mm. So I was like, well, let's watch this candidly. And let's see if, like, anything that he does makes you feel like, eesh. And no, I was just like, no. that's, a, that's, think of it if it's the other way around, like I said yeah. earlier. Like, if, if this was a woman uh, or a man in the power, power of position, position mm. of power, uh, and the, the woman was trying to mm. tell him, hey, stop working so much, it'd be like a normal thing. Yeah. It wouldn't even be. A thing at all. It, it would be. I would be really sad if my significant person did not show up for my birthday oh, party. Oh fuck yeah! It would really hurt my I mean, feelings. Yeah, I would be annoyed. I'd be very annoyed. And I think definitely I would be texting that person a lot. Yeah. Granted, well, cell phones were in there in yeah. the movie. Yeah, they were. She could, not not smartphones, she but could have texted him. Yeah. Well, she does. She calls him and blah 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 blah. So I guess we could get into the opening scene here. Um, we don't Which have I sound, love. but it's I pretty. I love the opening scene. I'll show this again just because it fucking pisses me off. This is so stupid. You're a fucking stupid idiot. Um, opening scene here. Where are you? I wish we could play the music. So it opens pretty cool. Do you want to talk about this, Mom? Hmm. Well, first the music sets you in the mood of empowerment. Yeah. Yeah. How does and that make you feel? It makes me feel great. Ready for take on the world. Yeah. Um, ready to start. A oh, you see those fresh... thought dogs there? Mm. I don't mean to interrupt you here, but do you know what movie uh, Miss uh, Anne Hathaway shows her, her milk duds there? Hmm. That I can't say I do, as no? I do. It's a movie you probably haven't seen. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Brokeback Mountain. 
Oh, I haven't seen that. Oh, it's actually great. I heard it was great. It's really fucking good. I watched it recently, actually, for the first time. I was pretty hungover, and I had a cheeseburger for breakfast, and oh, I dear. really just wanted to watch a couple of dudes fawn after each other. You and did. It, it was the cure-all. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of guys are into that now. Oh, okay. Cheeseburgers well. for breakfast. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Pretty cheesy, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> American cheese, mom. Don't American. fucking forget it. Okay. No holes in our cheese, fucking Swiss. There you go. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I really interrupted you. Uh, well, I this love, makes you feel empowered? I love it because, uh, you know, all of these girls are putting on their best dudes, duds of clothes, you know. Milk duds? No. <laughs> clothing. Clothing to go to work. Yeah. You know, they're just, they're, they're doing all of what they need to do to move to the next, next move of their life. Yep. Going on, going on, getting ready, getting ready to go. And, uh, poor Andy, you know. Andrea for the layman. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't have panties. She's got underwear. She's got drawers. <laughs> drawers. <laughs> she got her drawers to put on. <laughs> her scraggly hair. Yep. yep oh, yep. she's, you know, you know this is the rednecks. second movie that she did at around the same time. I think, um, oh, Jesus Christ. What was it called now? Uh, Princess, uh, Princess, fuck. Really? You know what I'm talking about? No. Uh, Princess Leah? No, no, no. Uh, the Disney movie with, mm -hmm. uh, Fucking Mary Poppins. Jesus Christ. Oh. Princess. Mary Poppins. She's in it, yeah. Uh, Casanova. Why can't I remember the stupid fucking name of the town, but not the goddamn movie? I don't even know what you're talking uh, about. Anyway, mm. this is, this is, uh, why do I want to say Anne Frank now? <laughs> Jeez, it's, it's, this it's, is a problem. Anne. <laughs> uh, no, uh, this is her second, like, transformation movie, where mm. she's, like, a frumpy little something, and then... She puts on some fucking eyeliner and she's a surprise to be one. Um, Makeup does Why a lot can't I for think of that ladies. fucking name of that movie? Makeup empowers you. It, yeah? Yeah. Dish girl. Yeah. Why? Well, boy, because you put a whole new face on and you can, you know, seize the world. Yeah? Yeah. Kind of like what she wants to do in this movie. Is she like uh, clinically, clinically empowered? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Clinique for sure. <laughs> Clinique Straight Freak is what I say. Mm -hmm. We like the fuck is the name of that movie? Princess something. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? I guess her dad knows. like gives her a Mustang. Sorry, Brittany Cullen. <laughs> I know you know this movie. <laughs> I know they're yelling at home. They are yelling at home right now. I don't know a Disney movie where she drives a Mustang and she's a princess. Yeah, and, and it's not she, a cartoon. It's a no, movie. no, no. It's a real movie. It's a Disney movie. It's a great movie. Mm. It's a fun movie. Dang I guess I haven't been getting oh, my Disney on. that's going to annoy me. It's anyway. Like Tangled with hair, you know. Tangled was a different Disney movie. I like the Tangled. Have I seen all of Tangled? Yeah. Is that like the rapunzel one? Yeah. Yeah. I think all I that long hair. Yeah. It's golden. And <laughs> it's it? talking about power. She's got the power. <laughs> She's got, She's got <laughs> power. Yeah. <laughs> you got another clip. Uh... Oh, but you were talking about being empowered by, uh, did you want to elaborate more about that? Oh boy. Well, I don't know. Just the, the intro is wonderful that I guess that the beat of the music and, um, yeah. seeing, seeing her and seeing that the models getting ready. I don't know. You, you kind of get a foretaste of maybe what's to come in your future. So you say it's foreshadowing. Maybe foreshadowing is yeah. what I'm trying to say. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's a good way to put it. Well, we do kind of see that uh, she doesn't know what the fuck she's doing, and she really just wants the credit. She just wants to be a columnist, columnist for the for not the a action. communist, but <laughs> not a communist. <laughs> Correct. That's not where she wants. Sickle and grammar. <laughs> That's a grammar joke. Kelsey grammar. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you should have put the crickets. <laughs> oh shit! Is it? <laughs> Oh. Nope, not that one. No. <laughs> nope. Oh. oh, that's a bonus sound. Here, crickets. I don't know. Oh, it's yeah. Right here. Crickets is number four. four. <laughs> there she is. It doesn't matter now. We're doing good work Mom's over here at Swiss Queef Studios. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, there's this pretty fun scene right here we can, we can grab about. Okay. Hello? Click. <laughs> Nice timing, really good. <laughs> Can you please spell that could Gabbana? That me self-conscious about if I knew how to spell Gabbana. So if that's in your trivia, 
probably gonna fuck oh, it up. Oh, I won't be going on the spelling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, I yeah, know about yeah, this spelling. No. You, uh, you birthed me. You're the the, the, the bearer dresser. of the beautiful. Uh, I do the art. That is that is me. Um, anything you want to talk about on that clip? It's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. She has no idea what she's in for. <laughs> And I love her sweater. It's very, very, very in trend. They do a pretty good job of uh, of making you think that she's like the every girl. You're like, yes, because later they they shit on her for being not in style. Oh. But uh, they don't really talk about it. Like when she goes, well, I guess they do a little bit. But you, she's just like a regular. And fucking, I'm talking over myself a thousand times here. Well, I can I yeah. can kind of maybe hop help me in out a here. Hop bit. in. All right. Well, in the book, have you read the book? No, but I we can't read. <laughs> the Tim and the literate shirts are coming. <laughs> I could read the book. I I have it, but there is Audio. a book out before the movie, of course. Also, a Christian metal band. A Christian metal band, which you've heard, but you don't know. Oh, it was in my room as a child, oh. as a young boy, as the theme for the the, the show here. Anyway, uh, oh, go on. Sorry. Okay. Well, um, in the book, actually, what she was writing about when she interned for L magazine. And how she felt when she was together in big meetings and going to see Probably the, small meetings um, too. Small or big, any meeting. Yep. And also meeting with the great designers like Versace. Mm -hmm. and James Holt. Cubana, and James Gold. James Holt. James Holt. James Holt. Yeah. I'm surprised I pulled that out of my ass. James Holt actually was a movie character. I don't think he's a true oh, no. designer. Isn't Runway an actual magazine? Um... You know, I don't know. I didn't look that up. Leave in the comments, folks. Are we fucking retarded or... Oh, I need to stop saying that word. Runway but... might be... I think it's a real magazine. I don't know. Brittany, call in. But I know Elle is a real magazine. Yeah. And she she felt that way a lot of the time when yeah. she, you know... Do you remember the author? Um, I don't want to put I have you on it in my here. notes. You can check your notes. Okay. And... Um... Wow. If they're handy. Whatever. We're having fun. Here. Here. <laughs> Let's did you draw out. those coffee cups or is I, that in there? I could have, but I, I did not draw these coffee cups. I could have, but no. <laughs> Show the folks the... Uh, coffee. She's a beaut. Your camera's over there. Oh, camera. <laughs> I'm a mom. Let's see here. Says who? <laughs> Kidding, I'm here. Not a mother. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Yeah. Mainly a lot of... It doesn't matter who a lot. A lot of the running around that they did in, in, in the movie. Yeah. You know, when she runs to go, you know, pick up the dog and mm -hmm. get gas and change the brakes on the car yep. and pick up the scarves yep. and drop off the skirts and what have you. They do a lot of that. I mean, mainly because they, they don't trust those expensive items with just anybody. And timing uh, could take too long to get it when they need it to be in the shoot or in the studio. So for that part of the movie... I read that the lady that wrote the book said well, that part is true, but yeah. a lot of the. But Miranda is a fictional character, yeah, so to speak. Yeah, like she had those experiences with someone else, or probably multiple people. We don't know. Well, from what I from what I I, I listened Gathered, to, yeah. about the lady that wrote the book, none of that was really. So Miranda is a fictional character, is what we're saying. Yeah, there. Uh, as far as I know, there's not that terrible devil she woman. But those people are real, and they're important. And I'll get into that later. Okay. How do you feel about the old jacket montage? <laughs> yeah. Like, does, does this boil your you boil know your, your you girds? Know what that or? really is someone. Uh, the what, what I've noticed in this movie, when I've however many times I have literally watched over three hundred facts. Yes. Really, what she's stating. Until you can figure out how to, you know, do this job. Yep. Here, be the coat girl. Yep. Take it. But you'll notice in the movie, as you watch it, as time goes on, Emily mm -hmm. gets stuck doing the jacket job. Yeah. Because Emily, you know, proceeded to get sick and, you know, wasn't up on her game. And Well, I, uh, that's interesting you say that. I think Emily got comfortable when she shouldn't be. Oh, maybe. Because, I mean, honestly, they're probably making pretty decent coin do you think so yeah i, I don't think do. so when yeah. she's texting her father at 2 a.m as he says no no no. well that's before Anne hathaway gets the job oh i thought she had the job mm -mm. yeah because then because oh, yeah, she does she does she got the wonderful Can we phone talk call. about her the, dad yeah dude 
Does he not look like her boyfriend in this movie? No, he's a dad. No way. They look the same fucking age. I tried to pull a pic of him, oh, but I couldn't find him. He's a one. dad for sure. Um, He looks six years older I than I forgot her. his name. And I forgot what he did. In the movie or in life? In the movie. In the movie. Well, the, he's In dad. life, I'm sure he was a dad, maybe. 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 I don't know. One of those well, Springfield dudes we've been talking you know, about? Like all parents, they want to help take care of their child. Sure. And you know, but she he... was only X amount. Sorry, interrupt. Drink. Uh, she was only. What we do here is when I interrupt someone, and we drink. Oh, okay. Because sorry, cheese. Miss you, brother. Miss you. Drink. <laughs> Fuck. Now I lost my train of thought. Mm. Dad's. Um. But she was only in the gig for a little bit of time, and once she started taking it seriously, she just they started. got been making like ninety G's. Mm, I don't know. To live in New York, like. Well, they have a little tiny flat. Yeah, which is bedroom. probably fucking five grand a month. Well, you're probably right. Yeah. But you know, Nate, actually, yeah. he moved up and he was working at a pretty nice little little place. Yeah. But then I he think moved. He was the boss there. He's the sous chef. Oh, that's right. He's a sous chef. Mm -hmm. What's the name of that place? Do you know? Oh, did you put that in your fucking question? Mm -hmm. You old minx? I think it's called <laughs> Bubby's. Bubby's? Uh -huh. Is it like Southern cuisine? <laughs> no, I don't know for sure. But. They need a, a sous chef. Well, they eventually moved to Boston because. Yeah. Well, that's where he became the sous chef. Oh, fuck. You're right. I think that's what happened. Yeah, you are correct. Yeah. I don't know. But I think he was probably pretty good in what he did in his craft. I think they were all making pretty fucking decent dough. Maybe not decent dough for New York, but decent dough to you and I. More than what I make, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Me too there, baby girl. Absolutely. Um. Yeah, they're making they're making they're making good scratch mm -hmm. for sure. So I think we got another another little clipper we can talk about. I only pulled X amount. You guys don't want to hear us talk about the entire fucking movie. This one is a biggie, and this is a long clip. YouTube, please don't bow me. My mom's here. It's a long one. Dude, she Burn. fucking slays that. I Burn love her cadence. It. I love her airy. Well, so you don't, you're kind of fucking stupid, and this is why. Fashion Have people you seen, are serious. Um, what was the movie we were talking about? Don't Look Up. That is the character I wish she played. Mm -hmm. The, like, I'm fucking smarter than you. I'm running this fucking country. Uh, the global warming's not real. This comment's fucking stupid. Not the Trumpian fucking idiot she played. She should have played Raina Priestley. It would have been so much more fun. Like, but she already played that role. Fucking 15 years ago? I know. Do it again, bitch. What are you talking about? Well, I'm just going to have to watch that movie. It's whatever. Mm. It's not great. Well, she... Well, it's that fun. was a it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. In but that it's not... scene, it's a total burn. Dude, she slays that. I think but I would have you... left and cried. Yeah. Which but she did in the end. That's also... Well, she did. You need people like that. She though. went to go see Nigel. Right. And then what did he tell her? He Buck gave up, her a buttercup. little star on the forehead and said, yeah. do you need a gold star? Uh-huh. No, those are important lessons. And I think in any job. <clears throat> I, when I got my job that I've been at for 10 years now, I wanted to quit the fucking first day. Mm -hmm. It sucks. When you start to do, like, important things... Mm -hmm. Where am I in the camera? Importance relative, but uh, things that need to be done yeah. to make like big boy money, big girl money. Yeah. Yeah. Shit's going to fucking suck. It's work. And people are going to shit on you because mm -hmm. they want it done the way they want it done. Yeah. Those are the fucking, that's how the well, world works, guys. Like, that's when she became a clacker. A clacker? <laughs> she became a clacker. Oh, <laughs> Nigel helped her out. <laughs> Clackers. Yeah. Fucking hilarious. He helped her, uh, you know, what did he say? He's basically her, like, we'll get you a sponsor in fashion world. Uh, pretty much. He's like, hey, listen, a million girls would kill for this fucking job. What are you doing? Yeah. Are you going to cry because your shit sucks? It's hard? Yeah, shit's fucking hard. Mm -hmm. I think this fucking country, this world, this time, needs more fucking people like that. No, 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 dude. You need the asshole. You do. This world is run by assholes. It is. <laughs> And There's a the lot end of the movie, corporate. I'm going there. We're going to the end of the movie, guys. Mm -hmm. Fucking, she gets respect from the asshole. And how good does that feel to get respect from the asshole? Yeah, pretty good. If you get respect from the person that's like, oh, you've always been great. You're like, oh, yeah, I figured you thought that. <laughs> when you get respect from the person that's like, you fucking suck dicks, it's so much better. <laughs> because you work to get it. Well, and you deserve it. The scene where he's telling her, you know, do you want me to say, sorry, sorry, Andy, sorry. Mm -hmm. That's not what I'm going to tell you. 
Right. I think he says something about pretty much what can you do then? What can you do to to figure out how to do this job? Do you exactly. want it? Do you want this job? Exactly. Or do I mean, you want to just for this leave? Job. What are you What are you gonna do? Yeah. No, I think uh, this movie really nails a lot of things on the head that like people mm -hmm. kind of forget. Mm -hmm. Like you, you gotta want to do things. Mm -hmm. Like you can't just cry about things being hard. That's why I think the her position in the movie. We don't really know how much she's making, but like she's not making fucking pennies. And is she on call all the time? Fucking yeah, she is. It sucks. Mm -hmm. But she's also not doing it for fashion. I eventually it kind of turns into that. She's doing it for a leg in the door to, to a journalism. A leg in the door to go right. where her future wants to right. lead her. Well, can we jump to a scene? Sure. You know, the scene where... Um, yes. Uh, I forgot her name. <laughs> That's okay. Meryl. She's... she's uh, Miranda, yeah. Miranda is... Miranda Price. She's in some place where they're having a hurricane. And she's <laughs> oh, telling yes. Andy... Well, I don't know why you can't get me out. There's some silly weather, you know. And it's storing behind her. Why? What? what it, you, this is your job. Mm -hmm. This is your job. Click. Yeah. With her razor mm -hmm. phone, you know. Back then, because that was. I knew a gal that had one of those razor have phones. A razor. Who did I know with a razor phone? I wonder who that was. <laughs> Yeah, ball and dog. Oh, it's me. <laughs> Do that dance again. <laughs> Pancho Vila over here. Yeah. Very good. I was in fashion. You were. You still are. You're doing great. You're doing oh, good work. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Well, yes. And then her father said, what does she want? The National Guard? She goes, I could do that. Yeah, that's an option. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I don't know. If my boss was wanting me to do that, would I quit? Would I quit? I she probably thought she would. was going to be having time with her dad. Yeah. He comes up from wherever it is he was supposed to be at. Mm -hmm. Somewhere probably by her college, which I forgot the name of the college. Maybe it's in the questions. Who knows? Oh, well, I know she was going to go. She could have gone to Stanford for law. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that I know. Okay. But she didn't. She went to some other college. Yeah. I think it's on her sweatshirt. I don't recall. <laughs> I think it was on the first day. Of coming back from her job. Yeah. She put, threw it on. Do we have that clip? No. I only pulled X mm. amount. I feel like this is already. Well, that's when on. she pre said, I think I'm going to have to, you know, where he's, and her, Nate said, Do you need a ball gown? And she goes, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going <laughs> to. We have she one was last. right. Yeah. Do you have any more to go on there? Oh, uh, no. Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> we, got, we got one last clip and we can summarize. <laughs> so I think she says she's a size four. In she's this. A, well, she was a six, and then she lost to be a size four, which is fucking insane. But she must be fat, right? Because like <laughs> all those other girls, I wore a girl pants. Their stomach flew away <laughs> from their goal weight. <laughs> I wore a girl. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I wore girl pants in two thousand six, and I was a yeah. size twelve. Yeah, which I thought wasn't that big at all. You know, size really. Isn't well, it also varies between brands, right? You would know better than me. Yeah, each brand has a different cut on how they design their. I was also asking Grace because she's like a size fucking two. Yeah, and I'm like, what do you think Anne Hathaway is in this? And she's like, a probably a size two. Anne Hathaway, she's like fucking five eight yeah. and like a hundred and nothing pounds. Well, well, in the beginning of this movie, like I say, yeah. Those girls that are getting ready in the morning, what are they eating for breakfast? Nothing. Vomit? Six six almonds. <laughs> oh, that is a great scene. Six they're almonds. They're weighing the almonds. And, oh, yeah. and they're weighing they're the sugar. Weighing and, it. Yeah, and they're vomiting. <laughs> they don't show, but I'm uh, sure Emily they... talks about, oh, wait, I do have an Emily. Yeah, where, where she's that? one stomach not flew away. Because she says to her, you, you look so skinny. Yeah. She goes, oh, I know, oh, I'm losing thanks. weight to go to Paris. Which she ended up not going. Oh damn it! Did I not put this in here? Well, the scene that scene that you just had on there. Yeah. That scene is because if I'm if I'm right. Yeah. I think it was the scene when she uh, supposedly was doing well enough to bring the runway book. Yes. To the house mm -hmm. and, and ended up kids and going up the stairs. Mm -hmm. You might as well climbing into the the bed with her. Yeah. <laughs> I pulled the scene of Emily like in the hospital because 
Anne yes. Hathaway like sort of causes Emily to get hit by a car. Like, well, no, mm. uh, no, she was doing the runaround stuff because, uh, you know, uh, the devil was making her do it. <laughs> right, but uh, Anne Hathaway calls Emily. She, and... Well, because she was up told that she had better call her now and tell her that she was going to Paris, not Emily. Right, which is where this comes back to. This is choices, folks. Yeah. This is a movie about choices, and you can't play the victim when you, those are the choices you made. Mm -hmm. I think well, it's a pretty powerful movie when you like, kind of read, as Jack Lay would say, read put, between the lines. But it always seemed like she always put them in that position where they felt like if they didn't do what she said, they were going to lose yeah. their job. But also, uh, she didn't want to keep this job forever. So That's true. And that's what she's selling a boyfriend the whole time, which that's I don't know true. why he felt the need to be the villain the whole thing is so frustrating to me how about a 14 year old about fashion yeah i guess about the fashion world the whole thing fucking not about chaps, chaps my not nipples into pieces it couples. makes me very upset which they were a great couple but it's a great movie i do like this movie quite a bit in in this movie i think they are i did cry a good i did couple. cry at the end too because you yeah. get to see uh Old, uh, old what's her bones there? Old Miranda Priestly give, uh, I know, yeah, the he little nod smiled. At that's when the that asshole, when they give you smile. recognition, yes, it but she never saw more. it. It means more, though. She but then she, hesitate. when she goes to the paper and she's like, Yes, dude, that it was feels awesome because the asshole's that was awesome, yeah. You, you need assholes in this life, guys. Yeah. You do. You need a prick. I guess so. The world runs from <laughs> prick power. <laughs> <laughs> the world runs on prick juice. Oh, gosh. Okay. So what do you got? What do you got? Oh, hold on. All right, guys. Well, I think that's about the movie. So I think, Mom, mm -hmm. it's time for a little thing we like to call... Quiz in your pants with my mother! <laughs> So, you're new here. Okay. Do you want to be read questions first, or would you like to be uh, questioned? You can question me. Would you like me to question you? Sure. All right. We're going to do uh, five questiones here, okay. my little mother. Are uh, you ready for the first one here? Lay it on you. Lay it on you thick. Okay. All right. You ready now? You ready I... again? You ready still? Yes. All right. Mom. Son. How many girls would kill for Andy's job? Um, oh, number. my goodness. The number. A thousand girls would kill for your job. I'm also going to tell you you have two hints in this round of questioning. Oh. Are you pleased with that answer? Is that a final answer? That's not a final answer. I need, I need hints. Oh, shit. Are you sure? Okay, uh, okay, final answer. I'm going to tell you right now also, I'm going to have to use the boo and the yays. <laughs> okay. And when you're watching the show, oh, no. the boos don't feel that bad. But when you're in the show, the boos yeah. hurt your soul, oh, okay. sister. All right. You I want, should know this answer. Are You sh You want to think about it again? A hundred girls. I'm switching to a hundred girls. Think about um, blah, blah, blah girls would kill for this job. You want to say a hundred? I think he said a million girls would kill for this job. Say it again. A million girls would kill for this job. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. <laughs> really oh, good oh, work. Oh, <laughs> One for me, madre. I've watched this show enough. You would think. Is it a I show would. or is it a movie? Well, you know, I call them a show. <laughs> the big show. All right, movie. mom. We're down to a number two. Okay. If you don't know this, I I don't know. <laughs> okay. What kind of phone does Miranda Priestly own? Um she has a razor. Bonus points. Bonus who, points. Who who makes the razor? What company? Um I should know that. Is this where you play the crickets? <laughs> <laughs> so oh, gosh. Damn it. <laughs> Four. Four is the crickets. Is it? I think so. Damn, yeah, Mom. Four. <laughs> crickets four. You're, you're better at my okay. job than me. <laughs> well, I just remember the crickets. You that know, gets applause. It, I, I'm trying to give uh, 
so I can think. Um, uh, well, it's a bonus I point. Say Just put Panasonic. something. Out. No, that's not it. It's not. It doesn't matter. Uh, I don't. Know. You already. You already got it. I don't know. Who Motorola. Oh, that's it. Oh, my God. Motorola Razor. Mm, yeah. Really good. You are uh, two for two. Okay. Uh, question number three. Okay. What is the last word said in the movie? Oh, my goodness. The last word. Yep. I'll give you a hint that doesn't count as a hint. Uh, Miranda Priestly says it. Something about if you don't hire this girl. Um, <laughs> uh, are you calling for? Why don't you ever it's drive one word. the car when I ask it's one for word. it? Are you, are you asking for a regular hint? Yes. Hint, hint. I'm Not um, stop, but. Go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you, son. Three for three up in here Thank in you. Swiss Beef Studios. Very good. You This is hard. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for question four? I don't know. <sighs> Are you sure you don't know? I think I need a drink. A you, you coffee. Up oh, coffee. Okay. You think you're fucking better than me. I get it. It's the Lord's Day. Shirley Temple. Turned water into <laughs> fine. <laughs> Look at me. Caffeine. Okay, go for it. Okay, Mom. Yes. So, do you remember the scene? Obviously, I'm bad at this, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paint you a picture here. Okay. Do you remember the grilled cheese scene? Yes. What kind of cheese was in that grilled it cheese? It was very expensive cheese. Guerrier. Mm, no. Swiss. Um, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you think it out here. Okay. He got it at a specialty store. Um, he did, and it was really good. Yep. Because <laughs> you thought, you know, she quit the job. Yep. You're working through it. You're doing good work. And um, strawberries cost a lot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's not cheese. Uh, no. It's not gear year. Guy, your guy, guy, your no, no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get a boo for this because I don't remember. Um, you have one more left. Do you want a hint? Is this going to friend? You have a total of two hints. You've used one. Uh -huh. You could use it on this question, or you could use it on the last question. Would you like to use it now or later? I think I'll use it now. Okay. Okay. Um, it's a two-syllable word. <laughs> Are you okay? The last syllable is Berg. So it's Yarosberg. Okay. Oh, hints help. Thank hints you. Hints help. Saving my life. <laughs> in the show I should know in and out. The show you should know. Fuck, that would have been a good title for this. The show you should know. No. <laughs> All right, you are four for four <laughs> by the grace of God on this fine Sunday afternoon. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> All right, Mother. Yes. We got one more left. Okay. <clears throat> what is the main ingredient in the soup? Corn chowder. Andy is eating, according to Nigel. Cellulite. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I know that one. Yeah. I also am a fan of corn chowder. I'm a fan of cellulite. <laughs> oh, good thing. Okay, good. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Well, I think it's time for you to uh, okay. quiz, quiz in my pants. All right. Mom. All right. <laughs> you got this. Maybe. All right. Yes. Are you Are you ready? You ready as I'm going to be. Number one. Yep. Which newspaper does Andy interview for in the end? In the end. Of the movie. Can you read that one more time for yeah. me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she's applying for a newspaper just, job just at again. the end of the movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is it? I believe it's uh, the New York. Uh huh. It's either the Times or the Herald. Well, you look at it when you when you want to see yourself, and it's called something. When you when you want to check, Are you your, give me a fake hint. Uh huh. When, when you're trying to check your hat, you have to go take a look at it in the the New York Mirror. Yes. Oh, does that count as a hint? No. That's just a mom help. <laughs> Good job. You got it. Well, and I'm also going <laughs> to... Oh. <laughs>
Okay. I wouldn't have known that answer. Uh, I knew it was in New York, some sort of bullshit, but yeah. All right, hit me with that deuce. Okay. What color is Andy's infamous sweater? Infamous? <laughs> is it... It's blue. Do I have to give the true, true name? It would be helpful, but blue is partly correct. Indigo blue? Uh, well, there's another one. It's kind of more Greek in wordage. I was. <laughs> yeah, I didn't ask for a hint. Oh. I don't know. Lay, lay it on me straight. Well, it kind of sounds like... Just tell me, I was. Cerulean. Ah. <laughs> uh, I even pulled that clip. <laughs> okay. Fuck my brain. Are you ready for three? <laughs> yeah, as ready as I'm going to be. Oh, let's see. Okay. Who designed Andy's bag? Oh. The fake designer. Christian. No, no, no. That's that's the publisher. It's not Christian Latner? Is that a wrestler? <laughs> <laughs> well, Christian... Mark Jacobs? Well, he's a designer and his purses are beautiful. But that's not the answer. In in the movie, she she was told to bring him yeah, something she, at his party. Right, right, right. And she's like, "Oh my freaking frick, that's you, and I love you, and this yeah. is your bag." Because he's like, "Yeah, whose bag is that?" He's like, "Oh, it's it yours, of like, course." It sounds like your nephew's name, Lames Hoffman. Mm. <laughs> my nephew's name is James. Um, oh, Charlie. Uh, no. James is my cousin. I guess I'm. If if you think of the Sir Fi family. Yeah, that's my cousin, not my nephew. Oh, your cousin then. So we're on the same page oh, about oh. our family members. <laughs> I don't fucking know either. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's you want a hint. James Hofferman. Hint. Leather with gold bronze stitching. I don't stitching. fucking know. James Holt. Is that, I'm over for three. Did I get the first one? You got the first one. Okay. New York might mirror. Oh, I kind of fucking. <laughs> I kinda oh, got the first one. I don't know. You're doing it. Who who does one for three? Miranda uh, seat at her table instead of her husband at the Paris event. Oh, is it uh, Yucklean? <laughs> no. What? A guy that smokes little dicks? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, go ahead and do that again <laughs> he's a dog and yeah he raps hard yeah um you know it what snoop dog a snoop dog oh, yeah oh, oh, it is the snoop man, dog the man has it yep it is snoop dog yeah uh, nailed it timmy i'm gonna okay so Him. i am you can call me timmy you can call me whatever you want i'll call you timmy jesus lord <laughs> Five. Where does Emily tell Andy to leave the book? The book. The runway book. Yeah, like, fuck. It's like on a shelf, don't go upstairs. It's not the shelf, though, is it? Well, it's like a shelf, but it has four things attached to it. Feet? Or <laughs> legs, or... The table? Yeah! That's the answer the is table. table? Yeah. That is fucking stupid. On the table stupid. with the flowers. Oh, yes, because uh, all the tables have flowers, which oh, is why she goes every, upstairs. Every table. I'm going to go ahead and give myself <laughs> applause for that. I think, hey. All right, folks. Well, that's... <laughs> it's a great movie. <laughs> this is... Uh... It's an empowering movie. Yeah. I think we're saying that for different reasons. <laughs> oh, that could be true. And there's beautiful models. Yeah. Like... What's your name on The Voice? She's on, in that movie. Christina Aguilera? Um, no, I don't think she is. I don't know. Kim, you know. Are you No. <laughs> I have it in my notes. She, she's on The Voice. She's got the blonde hair. She's a model. I don't know. She was married to that. Um, another fella. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, we have the name Does problem. She... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah well anyway anyways. folks this has been oh. approved for all audiences with our <laughs> with our super hey. secret guest 
<laughs> my delightful mother. Uh, I'm going to run through uh, the notes again. If you want to hit up our website at uh, approveforallaudiences.buzzsprout.com, that'd be great. If you want to take us on the road or take a shit with us, fucking <laughs> audio only uh, is anywhere you get podcasts. If you want to see what we're watching next week, I usually do a poll in our stories. Uh, that is uh, on Instagram. Uh, Approve for all audiences on Instagram. Approve for all on Twitter. Uh, I feel like there's something else I'm fucking missing. Uh, Approve for all audiences. Buzzsprout.com. We have audio only versions there. Also, links to our Twitter and our Instagram is through there. Uh, Approve for all audiences pod at gmail.com. If you want to do a quiz for us, if you want to, if you've seen the flick and you're like, oh, fuck, I want to shout, do a quiz for us. Doing quizzes is hard because I'm, I'm I'm pulling other shit. I, I obviously mom smoked me on this one. I am not looking for for cues. Uh, anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for everything. This has been thanks for having a me. wacky episode. Mom, do you want to plug uh, plug your salon? One oh time? yeah, Coach's Cuts, Bridgefield. Keep on coming down Pioneer all the way to the end. Bridgefield, Washington. Get your uh, get your cute cars. Get your hairs cut. All right, guys. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Have a good one.